Hello, here's a quick guide in which I will show you how to make your WordPress powered website look like a website and not like a blog. So the first step is to log into your WordPress dashboard so you can edit and change your website. I've done that. Here's the home screen or home page of the WordPress dashboard. You notice on the left here there's this uh, main menu of dashboard options. We're interested in two of the main items here, the appearance and the settings. And you notice within the um, there are sub items nested within the parent items. So under appearance there's a thing called widgets and within settings there's reading. Appearance, widgets, and settings, reading. Let's first start with reading. By default this is selected, your latest post. The latest post uh, looks like a blog, home page of a blog. You don't want that, you want a static home page. And you can actually choose one of the existing uh, pages that was created to serve as that home page. And again, if you use a static page and we set all the settings I'm going to show you, you don't have to worry about these settings. You know the blog format. By default, it can show the beginning few sentences of um, any number of blog postings on a given page, like in this case the home page. But again, that's not relevant because we're, we don't want this to look like a blog instead of a static page. This lists actually the pages on the website. And uh, I chose this um, welcome. The welcome page is the home page not the other page. So far I have two pages on my WordPress powered website. Okay, so that's under settings, right? So settings and sub item which is called reading. Settings, reading. The other one is un under the appearance item. You have a sub item called widgets. Appearance, widgets. I've actually made the changes, but I think what you what you see by default, you'll have things like archives, maybe a calendar. This is again suited for blog postings, um, categories. You can actually uh, remove that, and you can always restore it whenever you want. It's actually click and drag. Let me remove, uh, cancel. Let me uh, drag this out of the way. All right. So now no widgets will be shown on the home page or any page on the WordPress powered website. Um, this is a list of recent posts, recent blog postings. Um, you can actually input your own uh, custom HTML, uh, maybe a table, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's outside the scope of what we're dealing with now. Delete. Again, clicking delete will not uh, forever uh, prevent you from adding a widget in the future. It just it removes it from the actual, um, you know, what will display. Here's your menu or palette of potential wid possible widgets you can add. Right now, there's nothing here, and it's a simple matter of clicking and dragging to add and remove the widgets from the what will appear on your um, content of your WordPress-powered website. There's one more. There's one more uh, item, which is menus. Uh, a menu is a main navigation menu. In fact, within the dashboard, we have a navigation menu here. These are the various um, the navigation menu. If you if you visited websites, you know you know what these are. They're, it's a list. It's basically a collection of links to different pages, sections of a website. That allows you to navigate the website. Um, if you have a lot of web pages on a website, you won't have a link to every single page. You'll have links to particular pages, which will then in turn link to other things and list uh, the rest of the website's content. And that's under the appearance menu. The sub item is, uh, we were dealing with the widgets sub item. This is now menus. And you can uh, add menu items. And that will appear either at the top of your website's content or on the usually the left side. It depends on the theme. Right here, uh, right now I'm using this theme 
and this these this is the navigation menu. I have two items in the menu. I happen to have only two web pages so far. So I click on that, it sends me to that page. I can go back to the home page, and then that's actually a link to the home page. So um, if, if I had more web pages, I could maybe illustrate this a little more clearly. This allows you to edit menu items, but I'll cover that in the next video.